part of this here, and uh, um, I want to give him a chance. John, over the last couple of years, one of the things you've preached is come playoff time, you know, special teams are key. Taking a look at the power play, when you break it down on film, what what's missing from the power play? I'm not going to break it down with you here. These guys always are asking about that, and listen, it sucks, okay? but I'm not going to break it down with you. Do you think Richard uh, Callahan will help Richard's game, moving him up? I, I'm hoping that they have the puck more. Um, I, I think Pisey uh, has done a fairly good job, and he's played pretty well. But he, you take out some of his turnovers uh, in, in Pyatt's game, he's been a pretty good player. I want to get Callie into a situation where he's just not playing with the kids uh, into Really, we have the two lines. Those are basically, it may be your top six forwards. And I, he needs to help them get the puck because I don't think those two guys are doing a good enough job getting the puck. Um, it, it certainly doesn't take the onus off of them. Um, but I, I just want to see what that looks like. I, you know, I tried Cali with Richie last year. I didn't like it. Well, they played a lot. They played like about 40 games together. About how many? Well, they played a lot. I mean, for the last. What number did you just throw at me? I said 40, but it might, no but, chance. oh, absolutely. No. Do you go back. All right, I will, I will. And come back to me. Um, <laughs> Pyatt, um, did you have him in a more offensive, I mean, you know, up a little bit where you envisioned him to start the, I mean, you envisioned him as like a third line guy and for different reasons you needed to move him into the top six? Yeah, when, the, when we started our season, uh, again, I wasn't, uh, you know, just the middle of our lineup. But I just didn't. I just wasn't sure where it was going. We. Uh, what I like about him, Pyatt, and where I think I. I wasn't sure I was going to play him in the top six. Uh, that's not what I envisioned when he first came here. But what I like about him is you can do that. You can put him in a lot of different spots uh, because I think he's really strong in the puck. Mm -hmm. He's a big body, uh, deceptive. He's not a great skater, but he tends to get there, and uh, so that's where it gives me. That's what I like about him is I can, it's a little bit of flexibility and put him in a lot of, and he can play right wing also. I think he prefers left wing. I've tried to concentrate, keep him on left wing until he gets, you know, real comfortable. And, uh, but you could see him on the right side also. So I can bounce him back and forth. Let me know what you come up with. I will. And, and you're just saying you didn't really like the two of them that much last year? You didn't think it no. worked as well as, no? No. Okay. No. I will. Get the, get the numbers, yeah, I will. the games, I will. and what yeah. their stats were. Right. I'd be interested to yeah. see. Yeah, I will. Is Miller on because well, you want well, he has struggled down low as far as the coverage is. It's a, it's a lot to ask. He plays all three positions. He actually prefers wing. Um, we're going to slowly uh, go about a business and try to teach him coverages. Uh, he really struggled with coverages the other night. And uh, so uh, you bring Brian in, it, and it's just a way I – you know, we had one line that I thought played really well in Boston. That was Step on line. I mean, Step played 26 minutes. Um, I I just didn't like the other line, so I wanted to change things. And this allows me to put him in a spot to where there's not so many reads that he, that he has to make in the end zone defensively. Talking about Step on and, and Carter and Haslam a little bit. They played well in Boston, and last year separately they played pretty well with with Marion. Why are they? What is it about them that they're able to play with? really high-end guys? And well, I just don't think they're afraid. I think sometimes when you are when you start playing with top players, um, you end up trying to get them the puck all the time or, 
or you just change your game because you might be a little nervous about it. I, Hags is Hags is a very confident guy, um, uh, which is good. Uh, and Step is a guy that's been here, uh, uh, understands the personnel. Uh, I thought played his best game of the year in Boston. I thought he was uh, uh, killing penalties, everything. He's strong on the puck. Uh, uh, he's he's a guy that needs to be able to do that. Uh, you know, we have him kind of looking in at a second line center here for this year. Um, right now he's playing on our top line, so I, he can handle that. Um, you mentioned Gabrick and, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. You had mentioned Gabrick and Richards not having the puck enough. I, is it battle level? Is it going yes. to dirty areas? Like, what do you want to see? That Both. Both. They need to play better. No sense of, they need to play better. Cool. Just going, Thanks, kind of going back. Uh, you, you talked last year about Nash needing maybe shoot a little more. And do you think there was a little pressure on him trying to fit in and try to play make and get the puck to some of your other guys because no. he's kind of the new kid on? No, no, I don't think he. Uh, I don't think he feels that. Uh, again, I, I think it's kind of because you think he needs to shoot more. I'm not sure how I answer the questions. I think that's kind of gone a little crazy. Uh, I think he's played really well. Uh, we'll let him make his call as far as shooting. I'm, I'm just leaving him alone and letting him play. He's done a pretty good job. I heard you mention the other day that you just didn't think Gabby was skating well. No. Nope. Is that, I mean, is that kind of typical of him, or do most players go through ebbs and flows where they skate well and don't? Because I've heard you say this about Gabby before, where he's just not skating well mm -hmm. for whatever reason. Is that endemic to Gabby's game? Well, it's a, it's a huge part of his game. You, you look at you, you look at Haglin. Haglin is second on our team. We we keep these stats offensively um, and defensively, and you have a plus minus basically. Uh, Hags is second behind Nash as far as his plus minus with offense and defense. Um, chances you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Chances that that you you get hurt defensively when you make a mistake, and chances that you create. And uh, I think Hags is at like a plus 27, uh, and Nash is at a plus 31. And Hags hasn't made a whole hell of a lot of passes. You know, he hasn't. And, and that's not a, I'm not criticizing him, but he's done it with his legs. He creates havoc with his legs. I, I just don't understand why Gabby can't do that. And I know they're a little bit different type players. Uh, you know, Gabby is a little bit more finesse with the puck, and, and sometimes Hags is better without the puck. He just chases it down. I understand that. But Gabby needs to bring that into his game, and he will. He will. And Andrew, we've we've talked about that. I think Gabby gets a little inconsistent uh, that way, where he gets a little too far ahead in his game, and then he can't use his speed because he has no ice to play on. Um, and we need to rectify that. Yeah, and we just need to get some more consistency out of him, game to game. We can't have a really good game and then fall off the map for two or three, and that's what we're trying to remedy here. You wouldn't want to say who's last in your. Plus minus. Uh, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> John, is there is there one thing in your mind why you've had such success against the Islanders in this building over the last three years? I don't even know. What's what's our eight straight? Yeah, I don't even know. I don't pay much attention to it. No. They'll be ready to play tonight. They yeah they'll. I I didn't even know the stat. I don't. We just go game to game. Does your use of four lines this year, it seems that you're using all four more so than you did in previous years. Is it because of your uh, confidence in the third and fourth lines to give you the minutes in crunch time now? Well, I think when, when we, we make a deal, we bring up a couple of kids, uh, uh, I think it changes our lineup. It gives me a little bit more opportunity to, to bring some balance into the lineup. And uh, I think Helper's line has really played well. Tim and Powell have killed penalties well. Ash has done his job. Um, so, it, again, I don't go into each game saying I'm playing four lines or I'm not playing four lines. I've got to see how they play. Early in the year, I wasn't. I mean, I was, uh, I had the, the line stacked, and that may happen again, depending on how we play. So, I, I, I just don't have a, a, a recipe of this is how we're going to do it. I let it unfold and make, make calls as the game goes on. I will tell you, each game, we're making calls for that particular game. Uh, that, that, that is definitely philosophy. We want to win that game. And we will shorten if we have to, uh, a lot quicker than we, we've done before. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you.